Well, this is a tutorial to help you get the collar to stand up and you can also pose it so that it like flares out a little bit, but it looks kind of cool. The supplies that you will need are your fabric. You will also need a thick interfacing. I use the kind that you would normally use to reinforce the sides or the bottom of a bag. The other thing that you will need is a thin wire. It can be um, 12 gauge is wire is what I use that you can use to basically pose your collar piece. The first step is you are going to cut out your collar and then cut out your interfacing in the same shape as your collar. Since you're going to be using super thick interfacing here, you are going to trim the edges about a quarter inch so that you'll be able to easily sew the collar together and insert the wire without having a bulky interfacing along the seam. After you finish cutting out all of your pieces, you want to fuse the interfacing to the inner collar piece. So to iron the fusible interfacing on, you want to make sure that you put the side with the little dots, the little glue dots, down towards the fabric. So I use this, it's just a piece of scrap fabric that I have. You place it on top of both the collar piece and the fusible interfacing, and then you are going to press down with the iron for 20 to 30 seconds and then you're going to move to the next section and press down for 20 to 30 seconds and you're going to do this all along the piece of interfacing that you have in order to fuse it to fuse the glue to the fabric below it once you're finished you should have one solid piece of the fabric connected to the fusible interfacing. And if any part is loose, like if one of the edges seems a little bit loose, you can just go over it again. Uh, the same thing with the iron. Next, you want to sew the outer edge of your collar pieces together. Make sure you leave a little gap between the interfacing and where you're sewing because we're going to insert the wire into that area. So like a, a little tiny gap, like eighth, an eighth of an inch gap. Then you are going to flip your collar right side out and make sure that the seam is ironed and looks nice because now it's time to add in the wire. Measure the wire along the outer perimeter of your collar piece. Make sure to leave one to two inches of extra wire along uh, poking out of either end because you are going to use that to help connect it to your shirt uh, when you are connecting the collar to the rest of your shirt. Then you are going to sew the wire in place using a little tiny dots I just use um, a little a few stitches on the, on the corners and on the edges of my collar pieces because I don't want the stitches to stand out very much but I want it to keep the wire in place so just like two or three stitches both um, on the like bottom edges and the corners of the collar Now it's time to attach your collar to your shirt. Now this is going to be a little bit different depending on what type of garment you're wearing, like a coat versus a shirt. So follow the instructions of your pattern. Use those little bits of wire protruding to help uh, stick the collar to, to the seams of your shirt instead of just falling over. That's what those are for. That's what those will help you with. And then once it's connected, you can pose your collar so that it flares a little bit or you can have it go straight up. It's up to you. Um, but this is a tutorial for making one of those fancy 
fancy collars, <laughs> fancy anime collars that actually stands up, kind of defying gravity. <laughs> If you want the written steps to this tutorial so you don't have to keep going back and scrubbing through the video, I do have a blog post with a step-by-step -step written out for you. You can check that out in the description. I'll also include links to all of the um, products that I use, which is, uh, I guess, really just the wire and the interfacing, um, but you can check that out too. Happy cosplaying!